Greece and Spain under pressure of NATO to provide Ukraine with Patriot and S-300 defence systems. Greece and Spain are under intense pressure from their EU and NATO allies to provide Ukraine with additional air defence systems, according to the Financial Times. This month, Kyiv urgently appealed to Western allies to provide seven additional air defence systems. Only Germany has announced the supply of an additional Patriot system. Other EU leaders used last week's summit in Brussels to personally urge Spanish and Greek Prime Ministers Pedro Sanchez and Kyriakos Mitsotakis to donate some of their systems to Ukraine, people briefed on the discussions said. The two leaders, whose armed forces have more than a dozen Patriot systems, plus others such as the S-300, were told that their needs are not as great as Ukraine's and that they face no immediate threat. We all know who has them, we all know where they are and we all know who really needs them, said one source. Officials said that Poland and Romania, which also have patriots, are under less pressure to consider supplying these systems to Kyiv, given their more vulnerable location on the border with Ukraine. Ukraine currently has at least three patriot systems, including one from the US and two from Germany. It is known that Kyiv is particularly interested in the outdated Greek S-300 system, which Ukrainian forces already have in service and have experience with. There are countries who are not in an immediate need of their air defense system systems, to be very honest. Each country is being asked to decide what it can spare, said one EU diplomat involved in preparing the meeting. The Greek and Spanish defence ministries declined to comment to the Financial Times. After meeting with Zelensky last month, Sanchez said Spain would deliver new capabilities in 2024 to help Ukraine defend itself against Russian aggression. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said that he expects new air defence supply commitments to be announced shortly but did not provide any details details on countries or weapons. The German foreign and defence ministers announced a global initiative to find additional air defence equipment for Ukraine in a letter to dozens of countries. Earlier, Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba said that Ukraine had identified 100 air defence systems available in allied countries and was asking for at least seven of them to be transferred to protect Ukrainian cities. EU and NATO prepare sending troops to Ukraine. The leaders of the EU and NATO are potentially ready to deploy forces to Ukraine, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban claimed. Brussels sees the conflict between Moscow and Kiev as its own and is failing to consider the risks arising from its ever deeper involvement, he warned. The mood of EU leaders is one of war, Orban told a gathering of his Fidesz party ahead of the EU parliament elections. There is a pro-war majority in Brussels today, he said, adding that the bloc's politics are dominated by the logic of war. EU politicians are already so invested in the conflict that they fail to see the flaws in their strategy, the Prime Minister argued. Despite all the money and weapons, the situation is not improving for Kiev. In fact, it is getting worse. We are one step away from the West sending troops to Ukraine, Orban warned. This is a vortex of war that can drag Europe into its depths. Brussels is playing with fire. Budapest will not let itself be dragged into the hostilities and will not enter the war on either side, the Prime Minister pledged, adding that his country must stand for peace everywhere, including in Brussels, Washington, the UN and NATO. We don't want war and we don't want Hungary to become a toy of great powers again, Orban stated. The idea of sending NATO troops to Ukraine has been repeatedly floated by Western leaders. French President Emmanuel Macron first raised it in February, saying all options are possible. Macron has since doubled down, stating that there are no limits to support Kiev. His words initially alarmed some NATO allies who quickly denied having such plans. However, the French leader did receive backing from certain members of the US-led military bloc. In March, Polish Foreign Minister Radoslaw Sikorski said Russia's military operation in Ukraine requires an asymmetric escalation on the part of the West. Warsaw's top diplomat also called the idea of a NATO presence in Ukraine not unthinkable. Estonian Defense Minister Hanno Pevkur said earlier in April that every NATO member already has military personnel in Ukraine operating as advisors or instructors. Last week, the former UK Minister of State for the Armed Forces, James Heapy, 
told Sky News that sending NATO troops to Ukraine should be considered. Moscow has warned that deploying NATO troops in Ukraine would bring the US-led bloc to the brink of a full-blown conflict with Russia.